My good people of Mvita, my name is Muhammad Juma. I'm a resident of Mvita. I do my business in Mvita. And I'm a father of four, two grandchildren. I thank God. I'm at the age of 56, born in 1966. I have decided to vie for the Mvita parliamentary seat on a wiper ticket this coming August 9th, 2022. My main reason for aspiring to become your next member of parliament for Mvita is the situation that I have seen for the past 10 years, ever since we got the new constitution, we have not lived to that. The expectance was very high, but the delivery was very low. Hence, my decision to vie to become the next member of parliament from Vita. We have a lot of idle youth today in Mvita, engaged in all sorts of manners, all sorts of drug abuses, from Mogoka, Mira, idleness. Insecurity has become a problem all over Mvita and Mombasa, though I'll just speak about Mvita. We have a responsibility as elders and responsible citizens of Mvita to look after our youth, give them hope, and get them off the streets, and work with them to become better people for tomorrow. Remember, we have a limited time on earth Therefore, our responsibilities to where we have reached, we have got to give back. And this is why I'm offering myself as the next member of parliament for Vivita. Working with the youth, we shall have programs and these programs will include rehabilitation, vocational training and finally job creation. We cannot offer everybody the white collar jobs. We all have abilities. We all have abilities we all have special ways on how we articulate issues. We all have talents in different ways. Today, if you look at our local TV dailies, every day from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., we have talent shows. We have plays. We have programs that have been recorded in Kiswahili. Where was Kiswahili born? In Mombasa. And yet, most of these programs are recorded in Nairobi. 70s and 80s, all the art, the whole artist creation came from Mombasa. Where did we lose it? I would say leadership. I being in the entertainment fraternity, having been in the entertainment fraternity for a long time, I understand the youth. I am best able to deal with the generation gap of today and of the past. I can bring the youth together. 
it is my intention to get the youth working. It is my intention to put all the religious leaders together, Muslim, Christians, Catholics, Seventh Day, the Sikhs, the Hindu. We all live in one community. Let's remember, Mvita is cosmopolitan and we all are responsible for Mvita. It is my intention to put all these institutions together and we put the youth under one umbrella and we watch forward. <laughs> Our mothers, our sisters, today wake up at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning to make potatoes along the, along the streets, outside their verandas for homes. These, this effort requires help and recognition from government from us leaders by way of financing by way of encouragement the other day i was walking in old town only to see an industry that is thriving where scarves are being made stitched and exported why can't we look at that as an industry alone to be able to employ our youth, our young ladies and gents. I was impressed at what I saw. So we need to recognize such establishments. We have retirees coming out from the Kenya Ports Authority, Kenya Police Services, Kenya Railways, Kenya Power and Lighting Company, all these retirees who reside in Vita can always bring back or give back to society in the way of training. We need to put them back all together. We need to put all of them together, work with them on how they can help train our youth and remove them from idleness. I've always said we have to be ahead of time. The government is working very hard to be ahead of time with the rest of the world. We have the Dongo Kundu Special Economic Zone that is almost ready. But what are we as Vita people, as Vita residents, doing about it in preparedness for that? What we need to do is prepare our youth, our mothers, our sisters, to prepare them for the special economic zone. We don't need to ship out our youth to ship out our mothers in search of jobs outside Kenya, whereas we need these brains here. Why do we brain drain? our own economy. It's time we work together and use those brains and the hard and the hard working people of Mvita and Kenya at large to have them work for our beloved country and our beloved constitution. Remember Mvita is the host city for the Kenya Ports Authority. Being the host city for the Kenya ports, we are holding together an economy of more than 150 million people, namely Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, South Sudan, Kigali, Burundi, and more recently,
Congo. If we look at these economies, they are all thriving. And yet in Vita, for the past 10 years, has not performed as per equivalent to the task of us holding those economies of the greater East Africa. It's about time we all take responsibility and bring Mvita and put Mvita on the map. As we end the next five years, 2027, Mvita should and will become the number one constituency in Kenya. That is a promise that I will give you. Let's hold hands together. Let's work together. It's a responsibility towards all of us. We should embark on it from day one, August 10th. And let us not look or sell our votes because of two, three hundred, four, five hundred bob, which is a problem. I understand that there's a problem. Financially, we all need something in our pockets. But why sell ourselves? I may have drifted away from my manifesto, but it is a concern. It is a concern that I needed to mention. It's important because your vote does not belong to you, but belongs to the generation that is coming after you. You are a mother, you are a father, you are 18 years of age or above. You need to take responsibility and vote wisely for your kid, for your son, for your daughter, for your grandchildren. Let's put that responsibility in our hands. Back to the manifesto. It's, it will be my responsibility to put everybody and consider everybody as one big happy family. We need to make Mvita a happy constituency. If you walk widely within Mvita, the gap between the have and have nots is wide. If you look at Chuda, Moroto, Shimanzi Railways, and come across to Kizingo, the manifestos will vary. So therefore, we shall work and develop a system where the community leaders and the ambassadors of every village will be responsible for their citizens residing within. When it comes to bursaries, there is no better person to help the member of parliament's office to identify our students who need bursaries other than the village elders and the ambassadors. They will be able to recognize and tell us that these are the students in need. So we need to brace ourselves because we shall all be responsible. It's not gonna be an easy five years ahead it's going to be a tough five years ahead. So be ready, roll your sleeves, and let's put a bit on the map. Together we can. There's a lot to be covered in manifesto, which shall be handled from village to village, estate to estate, township to township. 
we have five words. And every aspect of leadership will be felt in the five words. My name is Mohammed Juma, and I humbly request you to vote wisely. My party is Wiper Democratic Party. Under our leader, Stephen Kalonzo Musioka, a very able, determined leader who means very well for this country. And our presidential candidate, Raila Amolo Odinga, who is no new to you, a fighter, a freedom fighter, suffered for every Kenyan, will be deputized by a very able Martha Karua. We know her stand. We know mm -hmm. her capabilities. So we need to vote wisely. Vote Azimio. Vote Mohammed Juma your next Mvita Member of Parliament. Thank you. Oh